Hello, my dear students. Today I am explaining you how to execute the VHDL program. Okay. So here, double click on this ISE icon. Here you are going to see this icon and click on OK. Let us wait and click on OK. Okay. So let us click on the new project. If you want, you can close all the previous projects. Okay. Now click on the file, new project. Here write the name of the project. Let us write the name of the projects as basic gates. Okay, and nothing you change here. By default, it is taking the project name. And this is the top level source type. Okay, click on the next. Okay, it is asking that if it is already exists. So if you want to exist means it is asking the override. If you want, you override. Otherwise, you say no and write the different name. And here you remember that it should be spontan three. Okay, don't change anything here. Click on the next. And here you click on the new source. In this dialog box, select the VHDL model. Here you write the file name. Let us write the same file name to avoid confusions. That is basic gates. If you have not remembered means here it is there in the location part. It is given as the names what you have previously given. Okay. Click on the next. Yes. And next in this window, we are going to give the name of the ports. Port name is nothing but what? Input and the output. Okay, here I am taking the two inputs only, A and B, and output is Y. So you see in the direction, A and B are of in type, and Y is of type out. And how many outputs I want in this circuit? In this circuit, I want three outputs. One is for basic gates is nothing but what? One is for R gate. One is for AND gate. And another one is for the NOT gate. Click on here. Let us take, I want 0 to 3. Click on next. Click on finish. Okay. And next click on just you see here. Bef before you are clicking this new source is active and this is not active and these the two are the empty after entering all the things you are going to get the source file also and its type also okay click on next click on next and the finish okay so just to wait for a second, you are going to get the two tabs here. One is the basic gates, that is the file just now we have created. And next is the design summary. Click on this basic gates, okay? Here it is displaying your program. How we are writing the VHDL program? We are writing the VHDL program. So here library, IEEE, Use IEEE and next to IEEE 1164 arithmetic and the unsigned. Correct these four lines, it is by default displaying. Next, it is also displaying the entity, also entity, and next is the name of the entity is. And what are the inputs we have given? A and B, and Y is the output, and how many Ys are there? totally three that is from zero to three okay but here the down to is here zero and three is there down to is somewhat wrong because zero it is at least zero one two three not it is down to that is why it should be zero to three okay basic it's 
next here also it is by default it is coming architecture behavioral of basic kids begin let us write the program for the first or get how many inputs are there that two inputs only for that two input we are getting we are displaying the all the basic gates output and how many outputs you have taken you have taken to totally four outputs that is y of 0 is first output y of 1 y of 2 and y of 3 okay let us write y of 0 and next signal assignment statement let us think that y of 0 is equal to r gate that is a r p and similarly next one is y of 1 signal assignment statement a and b next y of 2 is equal to sorry equal to no not uh, that is signal assignment statement so totally actually we have taken the four because i want to just show you another one concept that is y of three signal assignment statement equal to what i want to do so hmm, i want to write it as not of b after five nano seconds just to understand this concept i have taken totally the four outputs okay if you want you can write only the three outputs because this is the example for only the basic gates what are our basic gates r and and not are the basic gates and here it is not necessary to write any end behavioral and all that is why because it is by default it is present okay now let us move to check the syntax of this okay first save this program after saving here in this process here it is a one window is called the source window another window is called the process window in this process window you just click on this synthesizes so here we are going to click double click on this check syntax why we have to click this just we are checking the any syntax error is there in this program if any syntax is error is there means you are going to see here in the below you are going to see the errors so here i think you are going to see here it is completed successfully here you can see it is displayed as completed successfully means now your program is correct okay so now our program is ready for the execution okay this is till now what we have studied is how to write the program and how to check the syntax of that program after this program completed successfully now move to run the program how to run the program so for that we have to give the inputs and outputs okay for giving input and output so here go to this source for window click on this arrow mark select the behavioral simulation okay after behavioral simulation you are going to get the basic gates the program what we have saved here just you select this click on right button click on new source in this new source you select the test bench waveforms and here you give the name of the test bench waveform here i am giving the name of the test bench is b1 okay and click on the next this is already exist it is asking let us say s and the basic gates here you are going to see that you are creating the test bench waveform for which file that is basic gates that is displayed here when you are clicking the next click on next finish then in this dialog box what you have to do means you have to select the combinational 
in combinational and click on the finish okay and here you are going to see the a and b are the inputs and y is the output what we have to do means we have to set the inputs run the program it will going to give you the output okay so how to set the input so here just you go here this is nothing but what the zero i want the one means click on this and click on this this is nothing but what the one and next you see here a is equal to zero zero is our first option second is one zero third one is go to b click here it is zero one and fourth one is one Okay, this is our standard digital inputs are there according to the truth table. That is 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1 and 1, 1. After giving this input, click on save. Another one point is it is not necessary to write the 0, 0 and 1. If you want, you can give any values that is 0, 0, anything you can bit, but these are the four standard combinations we have to give and check the output. So save this and close this test bench waveform menu, I'm sorry, window. Okay, here this is the Xynix window. Don't close this, close this one. Okay, here you are going to see the program once again so and in the sources you are seeing that the file with the extension dot tbw hmm? what we have created that is b1 and its ex its extension is b1 dot tbw click on here and here you are going to see the simulate behavioral model click on the simulate behavioral model okay simulate is nothing but what running the program so here you see just you expand this plus okay you are going to see the output here you have to remember that in our program y0 y1 y2 and y3 these are the four outputs are there correct so here y0 is the output of r gate just you check here 0, 0 is nothing but y0 is also 0, y1 is also 0, y2 is 1 and y3 is 1. But here you are seeing one red side, one red line. Okay, why you are seeing this right? red line? This is delay. You are only showed that after 5 nanoseconds, show the output of y3. Up to 5 nanoseconds, you are going to get the no, no output. So that is why it is red line. Okay, so to understand this, let us put the marker, how to put the marker, right, click on right button, click on marker, here you select this, here you are going to see, so just you can move this from here to here, whenever you are moving, the same values you are displaying here. So let us see, one by one example, first one is zero, zero. When input is 0, 0, what about the output of the R gate and the AND gate? 0. Only output of the NOT gate is high. Now, let us move to the next one. A is equal to 1, B is equal to 0. When A equal to 1, B equal to 0, R gate output is high. You can see here, but AND gate output is 0. And when A is equal to 1, what about the output of the NOT gate? It is equal to 0. Okay, similarly, next one. A is equal to 0, B is equal to 1. Then what happens to the R gate output is 1. Here you are seeing the 1 and AND gate is 0, NOT gate is high and this NOT gate is also low. And next here you see A is equal to 1, B is equal to 1. Then what happens? What happens to the first R gate? It is equal to 1. And AND gate is also both the inputs are high means output of the AND gate is high. And next to NOT gate, 1 is nothing but NOT gate output is 0. And this is also 0. Okay. So this in this way you are going to simulate and you are going to get see the output. If you want to see the program again, click on this one. And if you want to simulation, 
output you can click on this okay you just go through once again and if you have any doubts you can ask